welcome back to my channel, Mystery Flipping. I hope you're all well. My name is Josh. Um, today um, is the 6th of December. Uh, no, it's not. No, 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 not the 6th. It's the 7th of December. And the reason I want to say that is because these videos will be um, already pre-recorded. All, all five of these, I believe. Um, and as I've said in my um, kind of announcement probably a couple of weeks back now, um, these pops will generally go on sale. But it'll be on, my face, on the Facebook groups that I'm in. So I just wanted to let you know, if you were interested in them, they possibly have gone. Um, I could still have them, but just check on those Facebook groups. But today we have the first episode of our Black Friday Pop Figures deal, which was um, for £12 for six pops that were damaged. I don't normally go into the damaged market. I'm not a big damaged box fan myself. Um, every now and then I don't mind my pops being damaged. It's kind of like on the back, um, you know, or unless I really, really want it. Um, but if you have seen like the uh, pre-Black Friday, um, at least one of the episodes, you would know that we are doing this. It's the um, chili sauce. Basically, um, we have 10 numbers in here at the moment. We give it a shake. First number comes out, it's my number. Second number comes out, it's Pop Figures number. Of course, Pop Figures aren't actually um, doing kind of the hot sauce challenge. It's just that I've used it because that's who I bought it from. Um, but basically... Um, if I win, I get away with not having to do it. If I do lose, I have to do um, a bit of hot sauce on a bit of bread or something. Um, and it's quite hot. Um, all I will say is I don't know how far I've got onto the um, pre-Black Friday one. But I do promise you somewhere down the line, I do have to use the hot sauce. So be ready for that if it hasn't come out already. Um, but without further ado, let's get choosing. So... The first number and the number that we are going to hope to win on. Oh god, it's number 10. Um, that's never a good sign. I think number 10 lost last time. And Pop Figures number will be number number 6. Um, I know that's not a 9 because that's not how I do my 9s. So it's number 6 v number 10. So, um... Bear with me 30 seconds, I'll quickly uh, pause this video, I'll go get the two numbers. Um, as I said, I'll do my one in kind of view, so you'll probably see the box like in, in this corner here. Um, and then pop figures will be on the floor, you can see my six, and then we'll go from there. I have the um, numbers here, I have the number six box, which is pop figures. And the number ten box, which is mine. Let me just grab my knife. Like I said, I will make sure that it's kind of in view for you guys to see show that I'm not cheating um, in any way, because I don't really want to do the hot sauce, but it is quite fun for the viewers, not so fun for me. Um, so let's hopefully get these cracking. So as, oh God, as the previous video was, they are all in sauces. Um, so we will see what we get. Um, let me see how these ones are done. Yeah, done like this. So, the first one we have is Tommy Boy Tommy Special. I will just quickly check what the uh, condition is. Um, yeah, it's a tiny bit of damage, but nothing major on that. Um, but I'm not that <laughs> excited because Tommy Boy, I think I've had a couple of Tommy Boys, and they've not been majorly expensive. So they might be special edition, but there's nothing to kind of get your hopes about. Then we have um, Happy Frog. This is um, damaged on the back. This is from Friday, uh, Five Nights at Freddy. Um, again, not too bad. Um, I have people that do actually buy Five Nights at Freddy Pops. Um, so that's pretty cool. Again, like I said, I don't normally do these sort of boxes. Um, but I thought it was just a bit of fun. Um, so why not? And I spent £108 for 60 Pops. So you can't really go wrong with that. The next one is Austin Powers. And it is... Vanessa Kensington, um, I actually don't see much to damage on this one, um, like I said, I think some of these will be damaged, some of these will be pops that they're still trying to get kind of rid of, um, so I'm not too fussed, I did have Vanessa Kensington um, in the previous video, so I know roughly how much that is, um, then we have, yeah, definitely are. We have so many of these. It's just Tower Recon Specialist. Um, tiny bit of damage, nothing major. Um, so yeah, definitely trying to 
get rid of pops um, that are a bit of a pain in the ass. On the plus side, I got my jelly beans. Uh, this one is, oh this is nice, it's Chi Chi from Dragon Ball. Um, this isn't too bad, I definitely um, do like getting Dragon Ball Pops. And again, this doesn't really look like it has damage on, which is pretty good. Um, not an expensive pop, I know that, but still a decent one to get. Now let's chuck that on to the side. And the last pop is, oh, Tokyo Gold, I like this. Um, it's Rise from Tokyo Ghoul. Um, now this is a very, very good anime. And actually, condition again is pretty good. Um, so I do expect to get duplicates. Um, I'm not stupid. Um, you know, I'm just stupid that I spend my money on ridiculous things. Um, but I enjoy it. And that's the most important thing. As long as you can enjoy it, um, you can afford it, which I sort of can, but not very well. Um, I, I try to budget what I can. Anything that's in my PayPal from me selling stuff uh, is what I call kind of money that I can actually spend on pops. Um, nothing less. Now I'll put this one down here because this is of course a um, pop figures box. Well this one feels quite heavy. This is, that's not too bad. It, it has got a quite nasty rip at the top. Um, some sun damage by the looks of it, uh, potentially. But this is uh, Chewbacca. Um, it has, like I say, got quite a bit of uh, damage there. Uh, it looks like they were trying to sell it for £12, or someone was, um, previously. So I don't know if that's roughly what it's worth, or if it's worth a little bit more. But because it's um, heavily damaged, um, I'm not really too sure. Then we have... We have a Crimes of Grindelwald. We have... Uh, this one, <laughs> um, has a, no, no it doesn't, um, yeah, it has a tear just here, but again, as I said to you at the beginning, I knew that, um, these were going to be damaged, so, it is what it is, I've just opened this one, and I can see what it is, but I just can't get it out, it is Combat Carl Jr., and I have a feeling I might actually need this one, um, it does have damage here, but again, um, nothing too major, and a pretty nice little pop. The fourth one. Oh, this has got damage. It's a uh, Star Lord um, from Guardians of the Galaxy. As you can see, this one does definitely have some damage on it. Uh, this is definitely a out of box um, collector's pop. Some more jelly beans. So for damage wise, this is definitely losing, but I don't actually mind. Then we have another Fortnite um, with a tiny bit of damage at the top. Um, it is Moonwalker. So again, um, it does have a quite a bit of damage there. But again, you can't really go wrong. This costs, what, one... Uh, about one pound and ninety p per pop, maybe one pound eighty a p um, a pop. So you can't really go wrong. And the last one is a duplicate. It is Rise from Tokyo Ghoul with quite a bit of uh, substantial damage. Um, but again, I don't care. So that is it for the first two. Um, boxes what i'll do now is go and check the prices and um i will be back in about so 30 we seconds. are back with the actual um sheet of good or hell let's find out well if i say there was two pound in it and um looks like it's bread time because uh, yeah i lost by two whole pounds so, as I said, and you'll see in, in other episodes, I will um, do it on bread because it's horrible on its own. That is way too much. I'm an idiot. Um, but my torture is uh, your gain, I guess. I mean, I know this is spicy. And it's literally midday. What a wake-up call. Oh, it's 
burning in the back of my throat. Ooh. Jesus Christ. It just comes back and back and back. Oh my days. So, ooh. my um, pops were a happy frog, which was worth eight pound. Um, and they are gonna stay behind me because it's just easier that way. Ooh. 439 Tower Specialist is worth five pound. Um, 466 Rise is worth eight pound. Um, Tommy, uh, yeah, Tommy SC from Tommy Boy, so I have ten pounds. Sorry, I was getting confused with Tommy from Power Rangers. It's just got a kick in the back of my throat now. Um, six one seven GG is worth five pound, and Vanessa Kensington is worth seven pound, uh, which came to forty three pound. So you already know that the next one's going to be forty five. And by the way, if I lose again. I will make sure that every time I lose, I have to do double. So, or double, as far as add one more. So, next time if I lose, I will have to do two. So, I could be in hell. Um, on their heart side, they had Zuu, which was worth £6. Star-Lord, worth a whole £9. But, like I say, these are battered, so it doesn't make a difference. Uh, Chewbacca, worth £8. Uh, Moonwalker is also worth £8. Rise from Tokyo Ghoul, as we have already um, got already, is worth £8. And Combat Carl Jr. was worth a whole £6. Which, pardon me, brought their grand total to £45. And the total for the video to £88. So I'm only £20 worth of TBD value off of uh, my money back sort of thing. So I cannot complain whatsoever. Um, the pops themselves are pretty cool. Um, I probably may keep um, Rise from Tokyo Ghoul um, and Combat Car Jr. if I need it. But apart from that, uh, the rest will probably be up for sale. Um, I hope you guys uh, did enjoy kind of this pain that I'm in. And what's worse is I've got to record the rest after. Um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and of course, um, uh, comment what your favourite part of this video is. Was it my pain? Or what pop did you like? Apart from that, I hope you enjoy it. And